Leon, Leon, what's happening, sir? Now that we've talked about everything I was going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, dude, this, this is all about you, brother. I want everybody that follows me, if they're not following you, to get on your channel as well. Vice versa. <laughs> That's uh, the main thing, well, spread the word. What do you got this morning? What do you what do you got there? Oh, I'm shooting my custom Badan. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Aries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's Steel that's Core a Aries. The only one America. of its kind so far. Steel America. Core. America. I got a little surprise from uh, Mr. Layton, too, coming up here. Sweet. I don't know when, when I can get around to it. <laughs> Me, I'm just going to shoot one of my Malabilities right now. I know. I've been eyeballing the boot hill, that's for sure. Yeah, i, I got a... Well, the one I'm going to be shooting first off is going to be one of my... Uh, this is the very first one I built. The boot hill, Malabilly. In, nice. In, in, black walnut, in black walnut, standard plywood. Well, I know... I think you announced on a live the other night that you had a couple more coming up. I think you got two more designs getting ready to release. Well, I've got, I've got the two main designs, the uh, the B, the Boot Hill, and then I got the uh, the BR five four nine nice. X. Wolf, what's and up? And then I've got them, and I've got them in two different styles. You know, the regular, you know, the old, the re the regular deluxe, uh -huh. and then uh, then with the scales, I call them the Malibilly. Nice. Because Looks because good, you couldn't brother. call them Beverly Hillbilly, because you probably get in trouble for it. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I couldn't come up with anything, you know, the song, you know, you got, you know, it said California is a place you want to place you want to flee. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Tennessee. Nice. But I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything that rhymed with Tennessee that would go good with the with the new line of the frame. So I just said, well, what's the next nicest place other than Belly, Beverly Hills in California? And I said, well, Malibu's not bad, you know, higher in. So Malibu. Hey, that works. Malibu. So they're not That'll a Beverly Hillbilly, they're a Malibilly. <laughs> oh, who got here? Aaron. Oh, the hunter. Aaron. Wolf. Wolf got man, we got a few people in here. Mikey didn't Thank get them you. all. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey did not get them all. Morning, guys. Morning, morning. Out here. Morning, fellas. Got the got the steers wild slings bag set up. Uh I'm just gonna plink. Plinking in the granny. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to shoot clay to start off because I suck. And everybody keeps talking about these, uh, these, uh, the beer cans, uh -huh. the leather beer cans. How uh, now they are. I brought out the old official Hillbilly Slings targets. I got a couple, nice. of, I got one hung up up there. And then uh, I get to hear a little bit of the snap that these guys put off they they're they're not quiet hey come on there hunter i ain't that big of a jerk on i'm only a parsable jerk man or are they talk are, are they talking about the other dive going on because they knew that we were going on oh no nah, man i don't know i i didn't say that i didn't say that mikey's a great guy i oh yeah yeah did well you? he's got a time maybe frame the same as everybody else yep maybe he just wasn't paying attention i don't know I heard that. That's my little dog bowl gong down there. Target yeah, hack, baby. Bowl. I'm all about the target hacks. <laughs> dog bowl, perfect. Right my alley. That ain't gonna work. Oh, Dave, you outside shooting today too, brother? I haven't figured out. I don't know if you can get more than two people on a coat or on a live or not. I haven't tried we it. We may have to find out. Yeah. That'd be cool, man. Get like four people up in here. Yeah. I don't know. Net meeting. Probably couldn't do it. I don't know. Shoot my eye. I know Zach, All right now. he was shooting there a while ago, man. It looked like I had a tornado getting ready to touch down. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I love it right now. It's, it's a little chilly here this morning. 
It's supposed no, to be. No, Aaron says you need special software to do more than two. Yeah, net meeting, something like that. Yeah. Aaron, I think you're right. A little Zoom or a little net meeting or whatever they call that stuff. All yeah. that highfalutin, highfalutin Bill Gates stuff. Tuck Town, good morning, brother. There we go. I'm shooting clay right now. I don't know why. I, I always shoot clay. I, it's because... I always told myself that I shot one time out here with steel and up here in the, in the rust bowl, you don't shoot cause you get rusty balls. Cause no matter what you do, you get rusty balls. And I don't like rusty balls. The yeah. wife don't write, you know, Miss Billy don't like rusty balls either, but that's totally different story. Yep. Yep. So I shoot clay and with our two weeks of summer, that means I don't get shoot steel that much. But so I always end up with clay. I got about, I think I'm up to about 60,000 rounds of clay right now. <laughs> yep, that's me too. I picked up two more <laughs> jugs the other day. You got, you hit the Walmart up? Oh, hell yeah. You can't beat the Walmart clay. You can see it fly. I love it. I love it. Stuff is, yeah. you know, you, I'm sure everybody, everybody's keen on it. Every, everybody knows about it. Yep. Grab yourself a bucket. It's only, you know, it's a skip lunch one day. Skip that Big Mac value meal and grab yourself a bucket. You won't be, you won't be disappointed. Yep. No, I agree, man. I'm going to shoot some steel. Down here in the lower steers, uh, Wild Slings catch bag down there, I've got a uh, pheasant head down there, but I've got. One of these, they're these guys. They're, Is this they're actually rubber. 3D printed. Well, they're 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 rubber. Yeah. And they're, I mean, they're so nice. It's got a little hole in the bottom of it. So Sweet. you stick a rod. I, I got a welding rod stuck up in his keister and stuck down in a stump down there. These things are fun. And nice. Man. You know, you, you, you can hit them all you want. I haven't been able to beat one up yet. What's up, JB? Nah, JB, we're going. We we're going at nine, high noon, Eastern. What's happening, my man? Who else has got? Bill? Yo, yo, man, you, you look at that number up there, Rex. No, I well, that upper right hand corner. I see 14. 14. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I ain't in the algorithm, but you know, hopefully the people that subscribe to me at least see this later on and they can get on your channel and give you a sub. Yeah. Me, that's the only reason you know, why I started this is yeah. to get people doing lives together. Somebody's mm -hmm. got a, a smaller channel. I mean, I'm no big channel, but. Somebody has a smaller channel to try to get everybody out there that uh, is sub to one. Just see somebody else's face, see who they are, and maybe sub to their channel as well. Exactly. You know, <laughs> I've only done two lives, and they did them the weekend before last. Uh -huh. And my one live, my one short live, has got like almost it's up to like twenty five hundred views. Sweet. And my and my longer one that I did. The day after, it's like sitting at seventeen hundred, and I'm going, huh? Nice, nice. Uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, you, like, like we everybody's been talking about these, uh, you know, doing all the production and the editing on doing, you know, pre-planned videos and putting them up. Yeah. And you know, five, six hundred, maybe a thousand views. Oh, we got Sniffer up in the house, and Zach, what's yeah. up, brother? Jeremy, yeah. Yeah. Peace, bro. Yeah. What's up, guys? Malabilly. Check in. It's a boot heel Malabilly, and the one you got is a BR549X Malabilly. Malabilly. Just because I couldn't call him Beverly Hillbilly, because I get in trouble, I'm sure. 
And you know, I thought about the next nicest place I could think of in California, which there ain't none anymore, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I thought Malibu is pretty good because, well, I like Two and a Half Men. I love, I watch that on a endless loop. I love that show. They, you know, Charlie lives in Malibu. So I go, okay, we'll call it Malibu. Malibu, Hill, Malibu, there you go. Malibu. Nice. What's up, Jay? So, that, that, that's where that come from. So now you know what it is. It's a BR549X, like Junior Samples used cars, BR549X, <laughs> Malibu. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I got too much time on my hands. I got too much time in my head. Oh, at least you get to have fun, man. That's all that matters. Yeah. Isn't that what this is all about? I think. Yes, I hope. Other than an empty wallet. Well, you're going to get that <laughs> if you get into this. There ain't no doubt. I'm lucky. Miss, Miss Billy's good. She 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 lets me have my run. She oh, lets, dude. She lets, you know, Everybody, you hard was for yelling at me. Everybody was yelling at me to get on or to go to ECSTs, and we're coming huh. off of a cruise, and, you know, cruises ain't cheap. Right. So I didn't want to spend the money, and she walked up and sent me, or walked up to me and showed me her phone. She booked me the motel room. Ah, oh, there you go. Hey, don't get no gotta better keep, than that, brother. Nope, got to keep her around a day or two, that's for sure. <laughs> and from down there, I'm sure she can cook. Oh, son. Oh. <laughs> you, oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Rob? How you doing, brother? Why got, aren't you going to make a mark? The Mark in house doing good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone out there. Thanks for stopping by. Amazing, just amazing. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. I hear you, Coy. Even though I can't shoot for hill of beans, well, I brought out a ton of frames today. I hear you. Let's see. Let's go to the one overliable, the one that started this all. My battered, broken, bruised, beaten up, morphodited, torn apart, beat up Boot Hill X, the very first one. This thing, it's got a million and one different things wrong with it, but this thing can shoot. <laughs> I Whenever you, I get man. in a slump, this boy comes out and uh, he makes me feel a little better. You know, oh, makes me awesome, it reinforces dude. my fact that I need a frame in my hand and not in the garbage can. So <laughs> that looks this good. Is, uh, yeah, this this is my boy here. He always helps me out when I'm in trouble. I hear you. Little sniper sling, yellow point five, 2012, back in the days when I didn't do my own. And I had men up there, and the boys at Sniper Sling make them up and send them to me. I still got a few of these left. I'm sure they're going to blow out. So, well, we'll give it oh, a yeah. shot. <laughs> blow them up. Plus, I'm going to be work. I'm kind of working on a new anchor point because I've been, you know, I was, I was way back here, you know, with my. Uh, you know, I, I way back here, right back, back by my ear, and I'm trying to get a speed bump, boom, 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 on my cheek. I get a big old welt across Ow. my cheek. You know, if I, if I was off, so I'm trying to bring it in, you know, a little bit, trying to get it off my ear and back up underneath my cheek. It yeah. seems to be doing all right, but uh, it's a work in progress. <laughs> I hate to hear that, Rob. All you boys going to ECST. I'm stuck up in the upper left-hand corner. Moping. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And oh, you guys have just stopped in in that lower catch bag down there. 
I've got one of these critters standing in front of it. The little pheasant head, a little rubber pheasant head. Something like that. Hi, everybody. Did you make those? No, I got these on uh, uh, slingshooting.com. Sling shooting. Okay. Yeah, he, it's uh, one of those uh, you know Chinese warehouses. Mm -hmm. Just a ton of stuff. Ton of stuff. And they're only like, I think these were like three or four bucks a piece. I got like a half a dozen of them. I probably only, I'll never blow up one of them. They're built that nice. I mean, they're, they're rubber, but they're, you know, they, they, they got some substance to them. They're, they're pretty heavy. And I said, and then, like I said, I put a welding rod up through her and stuck her into a stump down there. Dances around pretty good when you hit it. Yeah. What's up, Touchdown? Or Tucktown, sorry. My bad. Tucktown, it's slingshooting.com, you know. And it, it's a hard, it, it's kind of a hard website to navigate because they've got a China warehouse and a Spain warehouse, and you've always got to be flipping back and forth between dollar conversion and all the other conversions that they go through. Yeah. Once you get logged in and signed up an account, uh, sign up an account, it makes it a lot easier. But they got some, they got some pretty cool stuff. Man, that's sweet. I have to it's, look it up. Uh, shipping kind of sucks, but then again, if you buy enough, you're okay. You know, but for all the all the little things that you know, the little things that you can't get around here, you know, from other other places. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, I can't think any, I can't think any place to find those other than that place. Like, I looked for days because I saw one on, uh, on a YouTube video, just some guy had one and he had it stuck with the rod and he had it in a, in your dog bowl, oh, you know, kind of cool. like, kind of like Mark when, yeah. with his, with, with his big pheasant, you know, with uh -huh. dog bowl and he hit it and it had, you know, it automatically pop up back up. And but he had one of these, and I looked heaven's half acres for them things. And I finally found them, and I'm glad I, I, I I'm glad I took the time to do it because they're they're a neat little target. They're fun little target. Hey, coin man, if you can find the link where you got that thing from, if you don't care, post it up. Oh yeah, uh, Tucktown. I did a. I've got a, a target hack up where you take the windshield wiper apart, and there's two little pieces of stainless steel that's almost like spring steel. And uh, one of the pheasant heads I got from Omega. Of course, the bands they're not that great. I've got two hacks on fixing that, but um, you can take that piece of flat bar stainless and put a little bit of super glue on it and just put it between the thread where it's sewed together push it up in there and uh you can um just take and just stick it in the ground anywhere you don't have to worry about it like falling over and not coming back up because it's going to come back up every time you hit it it works pretty good coin yes that's the, that's the place that's the place I hear yep. you there, Chuckin'. I don't know what happened. I lost Andy's feed earlier. Maybe YouTube's starting to crack down on the lives. Who knows? I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at his and diagnose, see what's going on. I know, JB, yesterday, I know he was having a heck of a time with that wind. He was getting, he was pretty choppy, but again, <coughs> Chuckin', JB, thank you. I can't express how thankful. And how happy the I'm really happy that you enjoy the frames. That was my most important thing. I, I I don't mind people giving giving plugs, but I don't want anybody just saying, "Hey, yeah, that's great stuff," and then you know, not really liking it. I I really thoroughly am humbled, honored. It it, it means a lot to me. It really does. Oh, dude, he's got me wanting to boot hill now. I've got, I've got two done. I'm going to be making a bunch more. I'm, I'll tell you what, Rex, I've got something going on here probably in the next week or two. I'll, 
before I go into this next phase I'm going into, uh -huh. I'll get I'll get one thrown together for you. You want a Malibu or do you want a uh, you want a uh, original? I I'm, I think I'm going to go with the original, man. Okay, you want an original? Uh, what's your width? Ninety. Ninety. Ninety about 25, 26 tips. Yeah, around there. Twenty-two, right. twenty-five. Because I'll, I'll get you something thrown together. I'll throw you some pictures out of it, and uh, we'll go from there. Sweet. What's up, Philip? Anybody on here that's uh, in or around West Virginia or thinking about taking a vacation to West Virginia, if you see West Virginia Division of Fun on here, that's one of the guys I work with. Uh, go hit up his channel. He does a lot of vlogs. Uh, he does uh, reviews of different events that go on through the state. And if you're ever thinking about coming to West Virginia for a vacation, hit his channel up and check out some of the locations. It's pretty cool. So a wonderful state to live in, I'm telling you, other than finding work. You know, everybody goes, Rick? I go, yeah. They go, you ain't no hillbilly. You're from Washington. <laughs> I go, apparently you don't know Washington too well. Because once you get out of Seattle or Spokane, you know, or Everett, once you get out of the big city and you start moving out of town a little bit, they're out there. But, you know, my my... My created daddy was an Iroquois Indian. Sweet. My daddy who raised me was born and raised in Little Rock, Arkansas. Nice. So they moved up here when he was like 15 years old. So I got raised hillbilly. Hell you know, yeah, there ain't no better <laughs> way, my friend. <laughs> so so yeah, I may be from I may be from the cold, damp, moldy, mossy. <laughs> dreary, gloomy Pacific Northwest, but I got hit. I, I was raised hillbilly. Grandma always said "garsh," and I think that was one of the last words she said before she she passed on. But she always had to get that W in there, and that's that. I don't think you get much more hillbilly than that. <laughs> Dude, if you if you ain't had greasy greasy grains picked off the creek bank, you ain't no hillbilly. Hi, babe. Hey, want to come say hi? Heck yeah. Uh, she got to go to work, guys. Bye, Miss Billy. Drive careful. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Let the pigeons loose. I'll shoot one of them. What's up, our hoggy? I ain't got pigeons. I got woodpeckers right now. Woodpeckers are at that time of year. Wake me up in the morning. Even though it's cool up here, cold and wet, I sleep with my window open at night. Oh yeah. So I get to hear so I get to hear all of my little buddies at four, four thirty in the morning, right at tat tat, and I don't need an alarm clock. It's it's great though. Heck yeah. My frogs, my chickens. My woodpeckers, except for I got woke up. I got woke up twice this morning because I got a, I got an owl, and he comes and hangs out and visits by the coop. And uh, mama chickens don't like him very well for some reason. You know, he ain't doing nothing wrong. He just coming over to say hi. But hi and get some dinner. Uh, so I had to come up. Well, he he he's pretty much harmless. I think he's after the moles and stuff. But yeah. just hey, just hanging out, just hanging out, staring. Come out there and say hi to him. And then he flies off, and I go back in, lay back down. Ten minutes later, he's back up. Got him spooked again. All, All right. right. He's fun though. He's pretty. Tell you. Um. Way to go, Dave. That's how that's how nice, it's done. Bro. 
Nice. Done. Shots done. I really like these pheasant heads. I think it's because when I shoot below my waist, when I'm shooting down, uh -huh. I shoot so much better. I don't know if it's because it's more instinctive or if it's more, I don't know. There's just something about it. I, I like shoot, I, get, I like shooting low <coughs> and even sometimes above my, above my shoulders, shoot higher. Mm -hmm. I like, but when you get to like the tournament, you know, where everybody, where they set up their targets between 125 and 140 centimeters right there between your, your chesticles and your, in the bottom of your nose, I, uh, I struggle. I don't know. Yeah. It, again, it's mm -hmm. it must be the salt air here in the northwest. I don't know. But. Got five likes. Yeah, I don't heck, know if that I, I say it, but I don't know. Watching chucking all week long, mm -hmm. I don't know if I want anybody pushing that. I can subscribe. Now you can hit the subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the heck? Hit them both. But you know, we're I mean we ain't mad at demolition ranch, so we don't have to worry about that. We ain't we don't have to worry about that. At least not yet, right, Rex? Yeah, not yet. We'll, we'll we'll get there. We'll do something stupid to get a million views on a video or something. You watch. Oh, there was <laughs> some guy I watched him this morning. It's called the worst slingshot injury in history. He stood there and let a guy shoot him in the freaking leg with clay balls, wood balls, and then steel. He's bleeding you know, all over the place just to get views. That's ridiculous. I think I saw that thumbnail, but I didn't watch it. I, I think I, for some reason, I think I think you got some guy just standing there like this in the thumbnail, yeah. and yeah, I, I I didn't click on it. It's ridiculous to do all that just to get views i mean come on oh come on you watched it you watched it i didn't i didn't watch <laughs> much of it <laughs> all that matters is that first click yeah he gets the view for it oh it's like 38 degrees out here and it was fine this morning appreciate you hoggy now i got about a five mile an hour breeze blowing and it's still 38 my hands are starting to numb up <laughs> <laughs> Don, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Much appreciated. I'm just, a, I'm just a hit. You know, when I started this stuff, Rex, here, when I really started doing it, when I started doing videos and stuff back in November, mm -hmm. I'd, done a, I'd done a couple before, but back in November, I had 120 subs. I'm up to, I think you're up to what, 350 now, maybe? Yeah, right. I'm, I'm, it's up there pretty good. Yeah, I, I mean, I just, I, I think I'm at a 280 now in like a few months. And I, I it just, I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I appreciate it. I love it. But, you know, well, it, it's just, I don't know. I'm going to drink a Mountain Dew here real quick. Oh, I hear you. Well, the only reason, like I said, the only reason why I started doing this is back whenever... Before I even bought me a slingshot, I bought Robin one. We were in Dick's Sporting Goods one day, and she seen a wrist rocket, and she's like, oh, I had one of those when I was a kid. So I went to do a service call, mm -hmm. and I seen one sitting there, and I was like, eh, I picked one up, got her, you know, the little bag of, I guess they're marbles that you can get with them. Mm -hmm. And I figured, well, maybe this is something we can do together. And I uh, brought it home. She shot it four or five times. and uh, But I started looking into it. And I used to shoot bow a lot. And mm -hmm. I got a foreign rotator, so I can't compete with my bow anymore. 
And I seen the slingshots and people shooting them. And I was like, especially whenever they were starting to post out the, uh, making videos on band sets and draw weights. Because my mm -hmm. problem's not pulling it back. My problem's actually holding it up with my left shoulder. Mm -hmm. After about 20 shots, I'm done. I'm toast. I can't, mm -hmm. I just can't do it no more. Mm -hmm. And slingshots are light. So hence, I'm here now. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was just, again, with me, it was all just weird coincidence. I was, uh, I was, you know, I'm, I do my bushcraft. I got, I got this. This is actually my, one of my camp spots for when I set up, you know, and do my, my bushcraft and stuff. Damn. And, uh, I was just sitting in the house one night. Actually it was a morning and I was down the rabbit hole. And then I came across, uh, Mikey at ATO. And you know he did his bushcraft stuff. We you know long before he started doing his uh, his uh, slingshot stuff. Yeah. And then he had one where he was doing the slingshot. And you know right then it's just light bulb. And not two days after that, Miss Billy, she was the top hatter. Wish, you know, freak. She loved that stuff. Oh yeah. She, she goes. She goes. Will you fix set this up for me? And she hands me a slingshot that she'd bought on Wish for for no apparent reason other than just to have one. Or, yeah. or top hatter. I want it on top hatter. I want here. I only paid eighty nine cents for it, and it was you know, and it's one of those four, five, six dollar clippy, you know, uh, pistol handled yeah. uh, ones yeah. that you get on eBay for five or six bucks. And so I bended it up for her, and she shot it about five, six times. Didn't like it, so I grabbed it. I go. This is it. I got to do this. So what do I do? I don't grab me one of those. I get on eBay and I buy me a Barnett uh, Diablo. Yep. And <laughs> a big old wrist rocket. And some half-inch marbles from uh, Walmart. The Daisy half-inch white marble. Yep. And I got my I got my uh, cast iron targets, my iron targets out here for my rifles and shotguns. I'm out here just exploding half-inch marbles with that <laughs> on those targets out here. And they're bam, bam, bam. And bada boom, bada bing, year and a half later, here we are. Oh yeah, you know, I, my it, first slingshot was a twelve ninety nine special off of Amazon. It's one of the metal mm -hmm. ones with clips, mm -hmm. and I think it's like a seventy two millimeter. I mean, it is tiny. Yeah, I and uh, yeah, I, I, I took it, that uh, probably I got, about three months before I went to Hocking Hills, and that was the only one I had to shoot at Hocking Hills. And everybody was like, cool, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? And I was like, dude, you're shooting a $400 moan lion's paw. And you're yeah. asking me where I got this thing? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I paid less than 15 bucks for it. Yeah, I, it, 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 it's funny. I've got that. I think I've got the same one. It's really like maybe about three-eighths stainless yeah, with the clip on it. And it's like this wide. Yeah, it's I mean, small. it's just... And it, but it's heavy. Oh yeah, it's real heavy. Loved, yeah, okay. I love the weight I, of it. I think I've got the same one. And yeah, I every I, I post I I made up a leather holster for it. A you know, uh, belt clip holster for it. Yeah. And I posted a picture of it when I was first into this. Everybody just absolutely loved it. I go, how many guys? I only paid like six, seven bucks for the yeah, shot, and I dirt cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I paid, and I you know some scrap leather about an hour and a half worth of time to make this nice little leather holster you know form fitted holster i wet and formed a holster for it yeah and god everybody loved it i just i love it that's another one of my things i love doing my leather work i'm no good at it i love it <laughs> sorry guys the stuff i've seen looks great uh I, I i do okay i mean i i my, my knife my knife she serves I, I i enjoy doing those Hoggy, you think the marbles are good. Dude, you need to get you some of this Walmart ammo. It's white, too. You can see it whenever you hit that magic hour between. There you, right there. There you go, Hoggy. Eight bucks, 1,500 rounds. You can't beat it. It's cheap. You don't have to chase it down. And it's like no. tubes. I mean, you can't beat it. But that's what I, I've got. My steel here, I got it right here. I still haven't pulled it out yet. I've been shooting the the Walmart stuff since since we started. I 
I I don't know why. I I, I can see it. I I I can see it, and that's. I got a bad eyeball. I got a cataract, so I got to go in and get it. I got to go in and get it replaced, new eyeball put in. But even even with that, I can still see it, and that's another reason that I'm changing up my anchor point so I can get over the top a little bit more so I can shoot with both eyes open. Yep. And I'm getting I'm getting real good at that now. And but that was one of the main reasons because it was getting hard for me to speak. Especially on a cloudy day or when it started to get dark, I couldn't see What's up, anything. Smoke? Dude, when you couldn't gonna get anything. on, girl? Hi, Jordan. Welcome in. The smoke's in the house. What's up, Jordan? Burner. Thanks. It's uh, morale patches. I'm I'm into morale patches, so I had some morale patches done up. Sweet. A couple of them. I, thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, I've got a combination. I got some steel. I got a pocket full of steel. I got my little magnet hanger slash. If you got a steel core, you can hang your slingshot on it too. Uh huh. Um, but I got you know my little box set up, or uh, I've got a little. Well, since we're talking to Amazon, hang on. I got <laughs> this little guy. That's what I keep yeah. the clay in. That way, I can throw it on my throw it on my belt. It's like three bucks, something like that dirt cheap and uh i've got a little bit of combo of uh clay and steel with me got my catch box down here so i can shoot my can target but dude you got to get you one of those can targets from jb they are I, sweet i'm gonna get some i'm gonna i'm gonna <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna get some that your your case there is that uh got got the little sheath for the you slide your slingshot in the front or yep. is that just like a hook? I got some of those on Timu. And let's see here. Yep. And I, yep. Yeah. I got some of those on Timu and I was going to get some like on eBay and Amazon. They won like $18, $19 for them. Oh, yeah. I got them on Timu. I got like six of them in the house because I got them for like four bucks a piece. Yep. And they're the exact same thing. They're well built. They're really nice. Oh, yeah. I carry, uh, well, let me show you here. Instead of having a sling in it, I always, just because I'm out, I always take mm -hmm. this and a sling with me. Mm -hmm. In case somebody wants to try it, I, always, I normally I'll keep a long draw and a short draw made up. That way, if somebody wants to try it, a lot of people are afraid of a long draw, which I was for a long time. But I carry a little can hanger in here, or for my case, the old good old-fashioned cheap-ass water bottle, which is my favorite target because it mm -hmm. pops real good. Mm -hmm. And then on the back side, where I, I got me a carabiner for it to hang it on my, my belt loop. I always carry one of these, which this is made by Hunter James. If anybody's got a chance to get him one, pick you one up. He'll usually send you one with one of his frames. He did whenever I got my, uh, my head hunter from him, which is basically a badass slingshot. Out to you. Hunter, I'm coming for you. And uh, I always carry, whenever I go anywhere, I throw this behind the seat of my truck and I throw a, I've got a sling made by Smo, which is the gasser. Mm -hmm. I, I've got it in a little case and I always throw those things in my truck whenever I go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I always got a sling on me. Yeah. Hunter, I'm not playing hooky on you, Bubba. I got your, I got, I, when we're done here, I'm heading to the shop. We'll be in touch. <laughs> Oh, dude, <laughs> have you seen that latest one he created with that? Yes. Uh, the carbon fiber infused G10. That thing yes. is flipping beautiful, man. Yeah. You know, I make slingshots. He makes works of art, man. His stuff is amazing. Oh, dude, I got one of these ply cuts, the ply mm -hmm. cut head hunter. Mm -hmm. I mean, he sells he sells the ply cuts extremely cheap. Mm -hmm. And anybody that's on the fence of trying one of his frames, just get a ply mm -hmm. cut. Mm -hmm. I know the next one, I want one of those carbon fiber slims. Oh, so yeah. sweet. Yeah, we're, 
I got I got one in the works for him. I'm gonna send him, and then we're gonna see about uh, what we can do about getting one sent my way. Oh, dude, his his stuff is I know phenomenal. I I know. I shouldn't even be classifying myself as a maker when people oh, start bull. like that. Start talking bullshit. <laughs> I call BS on that. Thank you, sir. Dude, I appreciate you got, it. You got one hell of a rave review from. The monarch of slingshots, Mr. JB. If his stuff says you're good, it's good. You know what? I was scared to bejesus about. I, I, I swear to God, I, I was going to come on and he was going to put a video on. That thing was going to snap in half. It was going to bop him in the face. He's going to get a black eye and he was going to blackball me forever. Not even be able to buy a, a band tying tool from Omega. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> oh, dude. No, nah, man, you make some beautiful customs. Every one of yours is a custom because you make them all different. There's no can't, thing I, 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 I can't, the same. I couldn't make one the same if I tried. That's how That's bad of a maker I fun. am. That's how bad I am. I can't, I can't even... If, if I made one that was absolutely perfect for me and I wanted a backup, I couldn't make a backup. <laughs> Dude, that's what makes them special. They're one-offs. No, one, <laughs> no single slingshot you make, no matter if it has the same name, is going to be exactly the same. That makes right. it a one-off. Right. Everybody gets a one-off. Everybody, Nobody has one that they can say that... Now, I don't even think you could copy one if you tried. Because <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's like Hunter, every one that he makes. Anytime somebody makes something by hand mm -hmm. and they do all the shaping themselves, to me, that's a work of art the same as yours because it's a mm -hmm. one-off. Nobody, nobody, no matter how many of them you make, mm -hmm. no matter how many Hunter makes, it doesn't matter. It's a one-off because it's specifically handmade. No two can be the same. You know... You're exactly, and then working with ply, you uh, you, you, you don't know what you're going to get when you when you even started. Like I yeah. like 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 for these, I use two. I take two half inch pieces of ply, bond them together, pin them, and then I start working on them. And you never know what the veneers inside are going to do. That's true. You know, you just work with it, and then as soon as you get it to a point where you you're happy with it and then you go well <coughs> you go six inches over or a foot down or eight inches over and you go okay that looks like it's about the same you know as the other one and then you cut it out and you bond it and you pin it and you start working it and it ain't the same <laughs> yeah. and you and you got a whole other set of monster uh, the other set of problems working that's the that's why i i don't care how much i you know i I'm no money. Nobody's nobody. No money. Nobody's no hunter. You know, so I can't. Even if I was to sell these things, whether I was selling them for 150 bucks a frame or 15 bucks a frame, the the I, I love putting them together. Yeah. They're, it's it, it's a because you know you never gonna you never know what you're gonna get. I I stress out <laughs> hardcore all the way down to where I get the finish on them. Because I never know if it's going to turn out the way I want it to turn out or if I'm going to like it until it's completely until I, I go, OK, well, I think I can do this now. OK, I, that looks OK. Now I think I can do this now. And I do that all the way until I get the last coat of finish on it. And I go, OK, this one worked out. OK, go back to the shop and we'll do this all over again. Masochist. Hey, hey man. Um. Hoggy asked you a question in the comments oh, there, brother. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Where are we at? Uh, da, 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 How does one find my shop? It's right there. No. <laughs> 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 sorry. It had to be done. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. Hillbilly Slings and Wares. I have an Instagram, but I don't know how to use Instagram. That's where my age starts coming in. I'm, I'm working on an Instagram. Uh, you can... Uh, uh, 
I, I ain't going to say anything about that yet. Um, right now, the best way to do it is to either message me through YouTube, through one of my videos, or message me through Facebook on the Hillbilly page. Those are the two best ways to get a hold of me. Ah, eh, crap. Are you heading out, Robert? <clears throat> All right, yeah, Don, just check me out, dude. You know, later, coin. I, I, my core, my core folk, the 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 core that have been there from like early on. You all are going to get taken care of. I know who you are, and you, you you don't you just get in touch with me, and we'll make it happen. All right, this this is it. All I all I all I do is try to cover so I can go out. Go buy my stuff so I can make some more. I, you know, I, 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 I don't pay my bills with this. I, I don't even buy my vape juice with this stuff. I mean, it, 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 it don't, it don't even buy me my Mountain Dew. It just buys me my, the stuff so I can keep making them. And that's all that matters to me as long as I can keep making them. I heard that. What I want to know is how in the world you come up with that uh, thumbnail that you put up on trauma. That thing was off the chart. Sir, that's privileged information, and we will discuss that in private. No. <laughs> please, please do. That was off the chart. That was awesome, dude. I showed uh, that to my wife, and she laughed her butt off. The raptor and the redneck. That was pretty good. Yep. One. That was awesome. I even laughed at I even laughed at that one. That was awesome. I, I, like I said, guys, just hit me up on Facebook. I live on Facebook. I know. I uh, I have no life. But no <clears throat> get me there. Easiest way right now. I am going to try to I am working on maybe hosting, getting some hosting done and maybe putting up my own web page sweet i used to do that I, I used to do that a lot back in the day i've had when i did my uh, vintage video game stuff uh i had my own web page and i had a forum on it i i mean that was a blast too but that was pre-cancer and i don't like getting into that very much but uh mm -hmm. it uh i i was thinking about it all right you guys I got company again. They see, they, 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 they see me out in the woods and they decide they're going to come out and they're going to they're going to interrupt my concentration. That's all right, guys. Come on. You're more than welcome. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ah. Yes, I am part of Slinging Homemade Shots, Don. Yeah. Jeff and uh, Chris, fantastic supporters of my wares. And, uh, yeah. Nice, great folk. Great folk. All right. Let's see what else I got here. Actually, I got... Rex, I got one that was worse than my original one. And I love this one. I absolutely adore this one. It's another boot hill. But half of it fell apart on me when I was working on it. And it is. It, I, it, it fell apart. <laughs> and I go, oh, I, 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 I can't do anything. I, gotta, I can't sell this. I got to keep it. I can't. I, I don't trust it in anybody else's hands. You know, veneer. I mean, it's got a hole through it. Yeah, dude, that's right there. Cool. I know it. It turned out. I mean, it. It couldn't have turned out any better. That's. This is the one that made me not do them so thick. You know, do actually, actually start doing some more contouring and stuff to it. Yeah. But uh, this baby, it locks. Dude, in. This, this one. This, this one's my my fun shooter. I I 
I've probably taken 10,000 shots with this thing and it's still held together. It's solid as a rock. But this is this is the one that this big mistake here is what got me into refining them and making them a little bit more yeah. you know contoured and a little bit more a little bit more debonair. This is a great little shooter. <laughs> little great little ergo. Yeah, yeah. This is a great little shooter. This one's got what do I got on this? Oh yeah, I hear you, Hoggy. That right there is a Mad Max sling, Jack. This is uh oh, this is Omega White 0.5 on this crew. Dude, that's the best latex on the market. Ah, die pheasant head. Mad Max Boot Hill. Uh, <laughs> it's it's yeah, it's mad. All right. Yeah, here's good look, guys. Dude. I I I really like this frame. It, it you know. Again, I'll never be able to make it like this. Again, because I won't have that same same construction of the of the the wood that I made it from in another piece. Yeah, it just fell up, you know, and it fell apart. And I'm going, oh man. I go, okay, all right. I need. I, I want to. I want to try some new things. So I'll just keep going with it. I'll just keep practicing with it. I'll just keep going. And when it got done, and I go, holy hell. I like that. Just to make sure that I didn't saw, I took a nail and I, I put a nail in it, and bent it over like I. <laughs> oh, so, dude, that's sweet. <laughs> that's character, man. I know. I and then I go. Well, maybe I should do that with you know some of my other ones too. Just because they're just a little tiny Brad nails, you know, it's little tiny things, and just put them in there and pound them over and leave the hammer marks on them and stuff. Still might do that. I hear you. <laughs> Ding. Oh, Hunter asked you on there. Oh, 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 sorry. He's anxious. Hunter, you're getting, you're getting a uh, modified BR549X uh, Malibili. One of the Malibili line, which is the birch ply with uh, the nice wood scales on it. But uh, yeah, I had to draw him up a whole new because he's only eighty mil. He's an eighty millimeter guy, and these yeah. are ninety, you know, ninety. And so I had to redesign the 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 BR five four nine down to eighty millimeter. And uh, I that's when we get done here. I'm going directly to the shop, and I got I'm working on that for him. I know the one that uh, with the scale, the wood or the dark scales on it looks pretty sweet. The black walnut is adorable. I love it. I've got, yeah. uh, I've got some. Uh, what do they call that? Sapelli, Sapel, Sapelli. I guess depending on what part of town you're from. Uh -huh. uh, it's gorgeous too. Uh, it, it's beautiful. It was expensive, so I haven't, I haven't cut into those slices yet. But <laughs> I, <I'm, laughs> I want to get some. I got, I got for one. I got some cocobolo, but it's. I'll leave it at that. I, I've got something coming up that's just going to be amazing. I, I, I'm, I, I can't wait to eat myself. It, it's going to be cool. Like I, Coco Bolo is really expensive. Yeah. See, not, not only I, I, I like this. People start showing their age a little bit because I go BR five four nine X. I call it the BR five four nine. Everybody goes. You either hear. Junior samples use cars from Hee Haw. I love it. Or you hear, wasn't that the alternative band from like the nineties, two thousand? So you can you, you kind of you you kind of get the idea of where they you know how old somebody is by just by telling them what the name of that shot is. Yep. You know what, Hunter? I'm making it for you. You can call it whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> long, long as they know that he really made it, that's all that matters to me. <laughs> but I am I, I can put HS on it. I'll burn HS on the one side. I'll put HBS on one side and HS or TS on the other side if you want. Sweet. That would you, be cool. You just let me know. If you want me to put the HS or TS on the back side, I'll put HBS and then you can decide which side you want the target side to be when you get it.
<laughs> See, alternative band too. Yep. Burnt Man, Eric. You know Eric, right? Rex? I don't think so. You haven't met the Burnt Man? Eric? The Burnt Man? Mr. Pickle, Mr. Pickle Fork? I don't think he, so. Uh, he, he's an he's a older guy, and that's the first thing he thought of was the alternative band. He didn't think about the, the hee-haw stuff. And I go, Eric, aren't you, uh, aren't you a little older? But he's like me. I'm a, I'm a music guy. I love music, period. So uh, it doesn't matter. I, I always associate anything with music. I, I listen to Rat Pack. I listen to Deathcore. I listen to, I mean, you can catch me out in the shop. One minute I'm listening to George Strait. And the next minute I'm listening to Pantera. You know, so I, I, music's just one of my things, and he just cracks me up because he's kind of the same way. Yeah. I don't know if you see me out here with and some of the colder climate videos, but usually I've got a uh, Five Finger Death Punch toboggan on. Yep. They're, they're probably my favorite band. Yeah, Five Fingers good. Uh, Miss Billy likes them a lot too. Sweet. I'm uh, I'm more of a I. About the newest stuff I like, there's a band, uh, you guys aren't going to know them. They're called Lorna Shore, and they're deathcore, uh, symphonic deathcore. And uh, Scott, Pantera, Dimebag, Vinny, Vinny. I'm, I'm a percussionist. I used to play drums a lot when I was growing up, up until my late 20s i played for a long time Vinnie paul was one of my favorite drummers god rest his soul he was amazing yep. pantera incredible band very talented musicians all of them pantera pantera uh it's another one in that cowboys from hell Still my, still my jam. That's the first thing that I want to hear when I'm out in the shop. That's, that gets me going. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. I got a, uh electric drum set in my outbuilding. I need to oh, set yeah. it up. I have, yeah, I've played for years. Vulgar is, yes, one of those <coughs> one of those albums that you can uh, albums. One of those uh releases that you could put push play and put on repeat and you could listen to it all weekend long vulgar mm -hmm. display is amazing uh pantera i just pantera is is my jam i i like it. for for late hardcore heavy metal for the later stuff can't be beat slayer seasons of the abyss Raining blood, you don't you, you you don't get any better than that as far as metal goes. Yes, sir. <laughs> I hear you all yes, father. Ah, damn wind. Let me go back a little bit here. I got I gotta jump off my soapbox here a little bit. <laughs> You guys are learning way too much about me. Oh, it's kind of scary. That's the whole purpose of the lives, brother. I know. I know. But is there, isn't there something about saying too much is too much? Nah. You start scaring them away. You start scaring them away after a minute. No, nah, man. I just let them know you're eccentric. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. I'm yapping real good because I'm shooting like. Oh, come One, on, two. Hunter. <laughs> you have the, sl uh, the slingshot transmitted disease now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's because I'm because I'm home range homeless right now. I think that's my biggest thing. My range. It's just off behind me here. Is underwater during this time of year. Yeah. I mean, I could be out there. I could set it all up, and put my hip waders on, and go out there. But it's, I got it sitting in a patch, just because it's off to the side. Where 
it's underwater. So I have little remote locations all over the property here that I go and I shoot. But when I have my, my range set up and all my targets set up and I've got my easy up set up and my table and all my po all my hanging signs and everything, you know, I just, I, I, I just shoot wetter. Hey, get over here. Hey, get away from there. You get back over here. <laughs> you little, you little butt. What are you, what are you looking at? Don't back talk me. You get over here. Oh, Leon, this is uh, one of Sniper Sling's uh, neck magnets. They It comes with a little hoop on it, and it comes with a belt clip so you can hang it from your belt. But I prefer to, to put it around my neck, and I just made a paracord lanyard cord. Do it. Dave, that's that's funny. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's uh, it's that couple of weeks where all the roosters decide they're going to decide who's going to be the ruler of the property. Oh so, yeah. I got a few. Hey, I got a few of them over here that are trying to be a little bit of a butthead. So just trying to keep the peace between the parties. Oh, <laughs> you guys, leave him alone. Why don't you go over there? Be nice. Be with the rest of them. Oh, there we go. Okay. Either. It's stirring. Let's see. What else do I got here? Oh. I got a BR549X Malibu. But this one's in... Uh, this one's in ambrosia maple with oh, copper. Man. That's beautiful. With the copper uh, pins. It's pretty cool. I, Dude, I, I love to see one of them made out of curly maple. I'm trying to get some curly maple. I found some bird's eye maple, but it's just not the same. <laughs> Boom! Hunter, that wasn't a snap. That was a that was a user band making error. My uh, my knot came loose on my pouch. Oops. Yeah, I still suck. <laughs> yeah, I had to switch up on my uh, the custom I got from Dan. I got a band tear on the pouch. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, four or five hundred shots. They don't last forever. I. I've got a pouch that I've been using for about, I, I, I it's probably on its hence band set, and I get about, I get about four or five hundred shots per band set, so it's about five thousand. It's a microfiber, oh, yeah. and that thing is just a flipping, flopping, loosey goosey. But Love God, it. that thing's still going. It feels so good. It feels so good. <laughs> Those are the best pouches. Once they get broken a little bit. When, and then when when I when we get uh, when I get yours together and we get it all take care of, I've got some dyes that I've got some like two ounce veg tan leather cow leather. I'll uh -huh. send you some. Uh, I'll send you some leather pouches too. Sweet. See how you like them. Hunter, you like leather pouches? You still around? If you're hunting and you know it, say hello. <laughs> there he is. Big pouches. You don't like this, the regular flat leather pouches then, huh, Hunter? I'm just saying, I got, I got a whole bunch. I got like a... a Two foot by four foot sheet. I'm on. I'm talking here. Get. Um, I got like a two foot by four foot sheet of veg tan cow leather, and I've got like 
<laughs> Go. And some, uh, I got like six or seven uh, uh, different patterns for pouches. And I'm just aching to make somebody some pouches. So if you like, you know what? I'm going to, I'll take a picture and I'll post it on the hillbilly page of all, of all of the, all of the dies that I have, or I'll punch some out one there of each. And, I, and then I've, cause I've got some stuff that you can put a howitzer shell in. They're oh. not big. And, and then I got, I, I, I got some to, <laughs> if it wasn't for the for the back hole being so big that you can shoot BBs in there, I mean, they, you can barely get it around the six mil, and but they're yeah, they're 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 nice feeling pouches. Yeah. Even though I'm not a leather guy, I love microfiber, and I I I don't think other than this one here, the one that I had with the factory ordered uh, pre made sniper slings. I don't think I have any more that I have pit pouches on anymore either. I, uh, or I mean, uh, regular non pit pouches. I just use microfiber pit pouches all the time. That's basically about all I run anymore. You see what I did to that pheasant? I'll do that to you. Get to stepping. Go. <laughs> Move it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, don't we're up to 20 in here. Look at that. Mm. Mama, Mama left you guys food. She went. Go. We're done here. Go. Enough of you. I got a turkey, Tyke, head of security, lead supervisor, and where do you think he's at? Asleep. I can see him too. I can see him over in the trees, over in the sun, just laying out in the sun, sunbathing, not doing his job. Thank you. Thank you. And you bugging me about a raise. Jose, what's up, buddy? Just seen you on here, man. How you doing today? Hunter, take care, buddy. Like I said, uh, I'll shoot you a picture as soon as I get that uh, to a point where I feel comfortable sending you a picture. <laughs> 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 Which may be uh, August, September. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I joke. I joke. Uh, maybe the end of April. Oops. Man, I I love the boot hill frames. The boot hill frame is the closest thing I found to a perfect frame. This BR549 was just a fluke. And it took me a minute to learn how to shoot it because it's so tiny. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's it's not tiny, tiny, but you know, it it, it it's you know, my, I got a glove large, a large glove size. You know, it locks in nice, but I, I'm used to having a little bit more on the end, so it took uh -huh. me a minute. But I, this one is uh, really starting to grow on me, just mainly because I like to, even the boat uh, slingshots aren't big. I mean. They're not yeah. huge. And, you know, everybody talks about pocketability and portability, and, and I get it. But this one is one that, yeah, I can really just slide. If, if it wasn't for the bands, I'd never know I had it, you know? Yeah, I mean, hell, yeah. all, they'll all of them will fit in a pocket. Yeah, but this one, it's just, I, I, get where, I get what they're saying where, you know, you just, boom, just drop it and go. Where you don't have to sit there and fidget around, being, you know look like you're playing with your butt or something. I get it. But I was going to shoot my uh, cardboard targets, but unfortunately out here, I don't have anywhere solid enough on the branches that I've got my stuff set up on at this moment to accommodate hanging one from it to get it to do anything. Yeah. But I'll just keep shooting my bags. I hear what we got going on, folks? Love Spitfire, buddy. Oh, is it a, a latent Spitfire, right? The UK Spitfire. Chad, when did you, did you, have you been here, Chad? Am I, am yeah, I that? Chad, I'm so sorry, dude. 
I'm a rook. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> um, cool. The UK light, Leighton, 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 Leighton Spitfire is gorgeous. And all right, there's 12 of you in here. 13 likes on that's nice. Dan sent me two UK late Spitfire cores. Sweet. Yeah. So just between us, that's one of the, after I get done with Hunter's stuff, I've got a couple more little things I have coming in for it, but I'm building a, I'm building a clip late Spitfire aluminum core. And I am stoked because I absolutely love that frame. And I, I don't even have an HDPE one because every time I went to go grab a 90, they were done. They were, they were gone. So, oh yeah, they sell out quick. Dude, I got like five of Leighton slings. I've got, I've got a couple, I got my Skeleton Leighton Leighton's out here right now. Um, I've got a HDPE one. I've got, uh, I got an Aries HDPE. Yep. And I didn't, I didn't think I'd like it because I don't really I, I I don't really like thin 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 handle, but I took that thing out and I fired a few shots off with it and I can see why they like it. I can see why people like it. It is a nice feeling frame. It really is. Yep. Yeah, I got one of his first ones, the bowling alley carpet yeah. version. Yeah. Uh, that I tell you, I didn't. It was a fluke, actually, because I was supposed to get <coughs> a late Spitfire from him when uh, he sent me some stuff. After I sent him a bunch of my frames over, he sent me some stuff back. I was supposed to get a uh, UK Spitfire, and I got the Aries instead. He he uh, marked it wrong, which was a happy accident because I didn't think I was going to like it, so I put it... I just kind of set it aside for a little bit. And Chad, thanks. Dude, thank you. I really appreciate all the kind words. I really do. I'm glad you like that. That was, that was my first uh, two-piece uh, scales. I used Ambrosia Maple on the, on the top scale, and then the second scale, I put uh, Black Walnut behind it. And that turned out really cool, and I'm glad you like it. And... I didn't really want to get rid of it, but I'm glad you got it. I'm glad you like it. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, the Aries. The Aries. I had it set aside for a while. And yeah, it was a Sunday morning, and I go, yeah, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to band it up. I'm going to take it out. Let's go give it a shot. And I'm glad I did, because it's really a nice little frame. I didn't, like I said, it's just so, the, the handle is just so thin. I didn't think I would... It, it, it just felt like I was just going to wrap around it. Just it wasn't. It was just going to get lost. I wouldn't yeah. be able to find it. But it, it worked out really well. I, it's a it's a really neat little frame. Really cool. I don't know if you can see it. You should be able to look at the difference in the thickness between the custom. Yeah. And that and, this and that's what I'm got some weight. I love yeah, it. it's that, that that thing's burly. I was talking more this way. You know, this way, how it's oh, so, the thick, the, 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 how the how thin thin the heel is. You know, the, the actual spine of it is. Oh yeah, I love it. You, I, it just, it I know. I didn't. Th I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I, man, I really. Yeah, I, I mean, I, for me, it just, I, it locks in perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I'm sure now with the with the custom with the with the core and the and the add-ons on it, I'm sure that that thing is it just. I'm sure that thing's just a boss. Oh, dude, it, I mean, it's, I mean, they both, I, believe it or not, they both shoot somewhat the same, mm -hmm. but the customer has got the steel core in it. It's mm -hmm. got more weight to it, and, and there's absolutely no recoil. There's, n you don't feel anything whenever you release it. Yeah. Oh, I, that, that, and that's one thing, that's another thing I'm going to work with Dan with. I'm going to, I'm going to see what it's going to take. I want to get some boot heel cores made up. Some nice. 90 millimeter boot heel cores and see how that turns out too. I want to, but I don't know <clears throat> as far as production goes, if I'm going to have to have a hundred made or 50 made or, you know, I don't know if you can do a small batch like this little hick needs, but I'm going to see what we can do. 
Mr. Green, sir, you are a fine ambassador of the Hillbilly Slings line. I really appreciate it. you the man. Bushcraft. What's up, buddy? Glad to see you on here, brother. Excuse me, guys. I need a sip. You guys got me yapping. <laughs> Which is strange, because <clears throat> what I do for a living, I have to talk to people all day long. People I don't know. Yep. People I don't care to know most of the yep. time. Oh, yeah. And the last thing I want to do when I punch that clock at the end of the day is talk to somebody. And I've about talked everybody out of this room seems like twice or three times over but they keep coming that's, back that's what's crazy about the community man it's it's not just uh everybody likes the same thing everybody's into this thing you know the community everybody supports everybody except for me and coin you know we're at it each other all the time but that you know, helps and it's like coin or they know. come back in and they come back in and they look and they stare and they go Oh my God, that guy's still yapping. Shut up. Go find something else to look at. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but I know what you're saying there, man. I'm a service tech. And every time uh -huh. I show up to a job site, you know, my equipment's junk. Uh, it don't work good. Uh, I don't even know why <laughs> we have it. You know, that type of deal. I and am a, I am a counter, parts counter person. At a Chevrolet dealership. So, I get exactly where you're coming from. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you guys built... I don't, I'll don't. i never own a Chevy again as long as I... <laughs> you know what? I'll take your money. Here's your part. Have a nice day. Yeah. Hey, Just, bud. Yeah. Doing my original uh, Aries today, brother. I was shooting my uh, custom, but I had a band blow out. It's my favorite sling, so bands usually don't last all that long because I usually shoot a couple hundred shots a day in the evening when I get home from work. And uh, it went out on me. I've got this one down here today. Um, got my custom from Dan, which still don't think I deserve it, but, you know, it is what it is. That'll be what I use at uh, ECSTs, and this is going to be my backup for ECST. And I also have the V1 Scalating with me, wrapped with uh, 290 paracord. All right. Reps, you did it. I have. Excuse me while I whip this thing out. No, let me turn the other way now. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> Anybody know what movie that's from? Rex, be quiet. I'm sure you do. Oh, yeah. Mr. Pacino. All right, I get rid of one eight. I get rid of one set of Angry Birds. I get another one. My woodpeckers are back again. Anyway, yes, sir. I hear you. Version two, Skeleton, Layton, Lighten. Nice. Woodland Camel. Point five five Olympus Green. Twenty twelve taper. I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. Enough from the peanut gallery. We'll find another. We'll find another tree. I'll just send what, send a clay his way and bounce it off the tree. He'll go. Nah. Uh, mm. Problem. Problem is he's on the tree right over on the edge of the property and the other neighbor's house is right over there. Oh, no, I don't want to get. That, I don't want to get in trouble. No, I, don't. I. I mean, Clay won't do nothing, but still, I don't want him to come out. I get enough distraction as it is. I don't need somebody yelling at me. <laughs> I hear you, Bushcraft, man. Ooh. It's a beautiful God, brand. Bear, you need man. to try all of Omega's bands, son. They're the best on the market, and they last forever. Well, I had about a thousand shots on these. And it finally snapped on me. Yep. I had a and, thousand. And it always does it on a lot. 
That's a lot. I have a th I had almost a thousand shots on this set of bands. This is the first. This is the the first set of point five fives that I cut. This is the first set of bands I cut off that five five roll, and that was about a month ago. I hear and you. I've got about a thousand shots off of them. Oh, and that's this only is here. I've got this is the second band set on this one, right? And I bet you between the two, and it's not totally ripped yet. I started shooting low, and I seen the tear in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, between the two bands, it, I, I can't even tell you how many shots. They last forever. I, I, I was amazed. Latex I bomb. love, I absolutely love sniper swing latex. Oh, I'll yeah, be a staunch report. They're green. I don't care what anybody says about the green. Uh, the green is some of the best stuff I've ever shot. This stuff, if I had, to, if somebody said, Rick, you get clay, 8 millimeter, 9.5 steel, but you only get two types of latex for the rest of your life. What do you want? I want Sniper Sling Green 0.5, and I want um, I want Olympus Green 0.55, and I'd be, I'd be done. I, w I wouldn't need anything else. It's that yep. good. I love them both. I love them both. But then I'm not a long draw. If I was long draw, I'd probably go white with the yeah. 0.45 or 0.5. All right. I'll have to. Sorry, Dan. I know you're not here, but <clears throat> I'm not going to shoot your delete and light and late and woodland green. But yeah. you're okay. I have a skeleton and light and late. Coyote tan. So, oh, with, and this one's got 0.5 sniper sling green. Ooh, go good figure. selection. Go figure. I'll tell you, Min over there at Sniper Sling is a fantastic person. Everybody, is. I haven't met anybody that hasn't, but I, let me shoot real quick. If you've ever seen, let me let me shut up for a second. You guys talking, and I just I need to look and see. Bear, you love the Olympus screen. You will love it. It. I kind of the Olympus screen. If you take and you buy, have you tried BSB yellow and BSB white? If you tried those, try thinking of. The Olympic white is the BSB yellow, and the BSB white as the Olympus green, but you get four times as more shots and a velvety, smoother, a lot smoother pull with both, with a little bit of tug on the 0. 0.5 or 0. 0.55. Yep. It's the closest. It's the closest I can come to a comparison to anything I've shot. Where where the Omega bands come in. The Omega green is now if you if you go 0.55 Omega green and 0.5 sniper slim green you're getting to be right in that I'm a tug guy. I like I like a smooth pull but I'd like to have a little bit of a tug. I like to be able to feel it, it's hard to explain but there's a little tug that you feel a little bit of resistance there where you don't feel it like like say you're pulling point four and you pull it back and it goes wink and it doesn't feel like you got nothing there when you pull the point five sniper sling it it has a there's something there it's hard to explain unless you unless you are if you feel the same way about the pull on how it feels to you but the 0.55 green and the 0.5 sniper sling are really close. Are, are, yep. They have the same kind of... Now, if you go BSB white versus sniper sling or versus the, like the 0.6 green, you're right in the same area. But if you go with the yellow, BSB yellow 0.5 and the, and the uh, Olympic white 0.5, they're very, very, very similar, but you get twice to three times as many 
shots out of the white than you do with the BSB yellow. It's that much better. It, it really is. Basically, what you're saying is if anybody has shot in a bow, it's called the wall. There's a place whenever it reaches, it completely stops. And if, mm -hmm. whenever you're pulling on it, you it's almost like it pulls back. Mm -hmm. That's I, to the best of my knowledge. I mean, that's the only way I would know how to explain it. It's you once you get yeah. the wall, then you know you're ready. But you feel what you what if you've got an old? I had this problem. This is this is where I I kind of came into this philosophy or this this feeling this this of how this feels is I got a bad batch of latex one time. Mm -hmm. You went to pull it back and as soon as you pulled back and locked in, you could feel the power drain out of them. I mean you pulled it back and all of a sudden it felt like you were holding nothing. It was like yeah. it just once you pull it back all all the uh, it just dropped out and it looked it felt like they were in a drop to the ground in the center. It was like there was nothing there. So uh, since that time, whenever I pull, whenever I, whenever I shoot, I like to have that feeling that there's something there, and when I get it there, I still like to have the feeling that it's still there, that it doesn't drain off. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's weird. It, it's just me. I'm sure it is. But uh, again, that the resistance holds you steady, but I like to feel it. I, I like to have it there when I'm there, when I'm locked in re and ready to go. But I also like to feel it when I'm going back. I like a smooth pull. I don't like, like, not, not like Sniper Sling Black, even though I love Sniper Sling Black 0.5. I bought two rolls of it just so I could have some because I don't know if they're ever going to make it again. But, uh, you know, you got to be, you got to be in the mood to shoot that stuff because that, you know, you know Pump your weights and <clears throat> get you going. I love the black, but I can only shoot it for like. <laughs> uh, really? Wow. I got an airport over here too. I got, anyway. Okay, forget what I was talking about. I, I got, <laughs> I got my concentration broke up by an airplane. I've got, for being out in the country, I've got a lot of distractions, you know? <laughs> I hear you. I'm just waiting for the big uh, emergency generator kick on at the pump plant that I'm next to. Hadn't happened yet. Happened one day whenever I was walking down. I was like, oh, well, so much for this line. Finally, it shut off. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful day out. So I figure I'll get planes flying all over all day. The only thing I haven't heard yet is the guys over. I've got a uh, uh, shooting range. Live fire shooting range about a m three miles to the west of me, and another three miles to the southeast of me. I've got another one, and usually the guys are out shooting all day long, so you just hear gunshots all day long. Yeah, I, 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 I live in a great area, man. <laughs> I'm here. I hear you, man. I'm hearing you. Okay, we've been here for an hour and a half, Rex. Are you still good, or are you, are you done? Yeah, I say we'll go ahead and jump off here. That way, if somebody else wants to go, they can. We can jump in on nerves, give them some watch time. Okay. Man, but, this uh, is a blast. We, dude, we did scare everybody do out anyway. There's only people, only <laughs> people left in here. We scared everybody away. I scared them all away. Ah, oh, bullshit. Hey, Bear. We'll thanks for showing up, you, dude. Man. I love thanks for the input. Thanks for the talk. Man, you were great. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I'm I really Rex, thank you, sir. It was it was fun. Dude, I had a blast. Nothing. That's the whole reason why I started the YouTube channel up was for the lives, interaction with other shooters, and hopefully uh start doing some of the juggernaut challenges. Yeah. Uh, I think Hunter just come up with I don't know if it was Hunter. I know he came up with it, the little egg that you get that has candy on one side and a little toy in the other. Okay. Um, I think, think Chad's already tried it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, I started the YouTube channel to do juggernaut challenges. Then I seen, I can't remember who the first co-live I watched. I think it may have been the Sling Den. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hmm, that's an idea. 
Because, I mean, you know, we all, all of us, we talk or text. And I'm kind of old. Us too much. I'd rather make a phone call or like for this. Me and you, we've never met. We get to talk to each other face to face. You know, not everybody can make it to a tournament. And we're all spread out over the U.S. So, I mean, just meeting up with somebody and shooting be hard enough. But, you know, this is, this is fun for me. It's a blast. I love it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to finish the video with my saying. I, I try to say it on all my videos. Uh, do you have anything to say before we all log off? Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I, You don't even know what how much this means to me, how nice this is. This is just incredible beyond my wildest dreams. Uh, the people that I've met. Now I get to say, I get to probably say I've met and yap with the Raptor himself. <laughs> uh, just, just incredible. And I hope that we can do a Raptor and Redneck Volume 2, 3, 4, 242 as we go on. Yes, We're around kicking around and doing this stuff. Again, everybody in the chat, thanks. Incredible. I, I didn't think we were going to do this well, especially with uh, Mikey doing what he did. But you guys came in. You guys had a block. You made it a lot of fun. Uh, Rex, thanks again for the invite. Thanks for being a great host. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to do it again. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Like I always say, enjoy your day. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your family. Enjoy meeting and talking with new people. Enjoy this sport. Have fun with this sport. I mean, this community is starting to grow. It's starting to pick up. Uh, two years ago, I never even thought, well, hell, I'm not even a year in yet. You know, a year ago, I never thought I would have a YouTube channel by no means. I never thought that I'd be shooting slingshots. I hadn't thought about them since 20, 30 years ago. But meeting people and enjoying this hobby, a hobby you can, you don't have to go anywhere to do. You can go out in your backyard, you can throw down a can, and you just, you have fun. And it's, it's, it's just, the community's great, the people in this community are great. Um, Mikey said. Mikey, you missed out on a great show. Oh, Mikey, it's no big deal, man. It's like, you know, <laughs> lives are going to overlap. There's no way around it because there are so many people wanting to do lives now. Um, sometimes it's hard to do lives. It's hard to get time straight. Um, you know, if uh, it is what it is. I mean, it's just simple. Everybody's on the, this is one platform that everybody shares and lives are going to overlap. It is what it is. But any which way. I hope you had a We missed having place. you around, though, Mikey. That's for sure. It would have been fun having you around. But like I said, we need a big community slingshot live board so that everybody yep. can, like a TV guy, everybody can just say, okay, I'm going here. I'm going this time. I'm going this time. Yeah, I mean, if nothing cool. else, we could set up a like a, a face or the, the Facebook messenger, what we talked mm -hmm. on earlier today. We can get set up a form on that. To where, you know, it's like us getting together, it takes some planning. Mm -hmm. And if somebody sees on there, okay, well, they're going at 11. The normal time is an hour. We went mm -hmm. a little bit over. But the normal time, I think, you know, being courteous to other people that want to go live, maybe we stop it at an hour. You know, we just try to, to get some type of a pattern going where we can all get a live in if we want to do a live that day. And hey. I think that would help out the community. It, it would definitely help out the people that are hosting because you get the watch hours. And uh, on my thread a little bit too. <laughs> but, you know, if, if they overlap, they overlap. There's nothing, you know, nothing anybody can do. No. But uh, back to my, nope. now let me... Jump okay, off and back to the end here, guys. Enjoy your time, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, make new ones.
uh, heard on a video the other day, I started putting this in this or into my endings as well. Get out, get in the woods, walk around. Enjoy the day. If there ain't no sunshine, make some sunshine of your own. Just enjoy your time, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends. Peace. Take care, guys. Bill Billy, great time, brother. Appreciate you. Pleasure. Thanks. Later, my friend.